click the like button, please. Just click the like button, please, or else, you know what? I'm gonna- <laughs> Today we're gonna be talking about self-help and marketing gurus. Welcome back to the CCU, I'm Connor, and today the Tuesday ghost read some Thoreau. How do you feel? Okay, well, uh, the Tuesday ghost and I have a presentation for you guys. Three powerful ways I hate self-help and marketing gurus. Let's go to the computer and let's get this started. Do you think what you're doing is right, innovative, and or creative? Are you changing your perspective? What's happening, content creators? Today, I'm going to be showing you three powerful ways I think self-help and marketing gurus are corny and not really that helpful in a deep and meaningful way here on the CCU. I'm Connor and here on the CCU we provide powerful and meaningful entertainment that makes you think. And if you're a thinker, make sure to subscribe down below. And if you don't want to think and enjoy yourself in a meaningful way and think differently, well, I... <laughs> I don't know what to tell you because also before we get into the first powerful way I want to announce my 30-day course secrets to the algorithm that I just started you can join today if you join my course learning secrets to the YouTube algorithm and the algorithm of life if you want to learn the algorithm of life and how to navigate yourself in life and learn the secrets to that algorithm so you can uproot and get yourself out of those difficult times. Hey, I've been through tough times too. You know, I've had to make sacrifices for myself that made me uncomfortable. Like do, you know, you know, do, do favors uh, for my Aunt Christy. I mean, hey, Aunt Christy, I don't want to get you unstuck from the washing machine again. But I'll do it. Because it's what I had to do to make a living right anyway the first powerful reason to why i hate self-help and marketing gurus the way they speak frankly i mean i'm just gonna be frank right now frankly mr shankly from the smiths right guys i mean we all love the smiths the queen's dead <laughs> have that i've had that on record for about a year we all love it i mean <laughs> Just a great, you know, they get you by sharing tips to better your life in a, in a meaningless and, and, and vapid way. And, you know, these people either sound like a Siri or an AI trying to sound like, I don't know, Travis Scott or Kanye trying to understand just kind of the genius and creativity and the ambition and value that they're trying to create. Just like an AI, a computer, no soul or personality is trying to understand or they speak in such a stripped back sort of irish you know scottish i don't give a flying beep f word fuck a sort of manner that makes insecure people either better or just kind of a faceless worm you know you either get these marketing folks that are so disneyfied and sanitized to where they just have no soul or personality again like that ai that was that i was talking about before trying to understand such creative minds but they do it in such a you know sanitized manner it just it just doesn't make any sense i'm already thinking the people in the ccu i mean over here the tuesday ghost he's thinking already all of us are already thinking, I don't have to, you know, talk down to you. Or, or what are we, Da Vinci finding the secret codes to the universe? Oh, you're telling me to be, you know, the van life guy, the avocado girl? Like what? Getting the message across, you know, providing value, these people, what these people are, are telling me. You want people to, in a way, stereotype you. You want people to be like, oh, that's the van life girl. Yes. Now you know you're cutting through the message if they go, huh, I don't, I actually don't know what that person's about. I mean, I, they're about, well, when I look at all their videos, they're about like 48 different, if they, if, if they, if you, people pause and get stuck yeah. on like oh, categorizing you, then it's going to be really hard for you to really build momentum. You know, I think about Dr. Phil put it this way. You got to pick up a, a horse and ride it. Mm -hmm. You only have one ass. 
you can't ride two horses with it. <laughs> and Doc so, <laughs> right? Dr. Phil said that? Dr. Phil, <laughs> you got to pick a horse and write it. And I know that what, what's hard is that as YouTube creators and beginning on YouTube, we go, oh, I'm multi-passionate. I've got all these different things I'm about. There's some. And you know, that's just the first example of this sort of sanitized type of marketing content, self-help content, the thinking content. And you know, they speak in these very, uh, they allude to these quotes and references to kind of get you, you know, uh, they'll, kind of reference oh the mandalorian that's a great show i love that show an, an amazing show you know i'm stereotyping you for you know the van life content the mandalorian content the you know entertainment content you know what what we here at the ccu say save a horse ride a cowboy and think also gain some perspective and provide value to those who need it and frankly, do that for yourself. Anyway, if you guys want to get even more value and share that value with others, guys, connorsgraveyard.com. I mean, come on. Uh, guys, connorsgraveyard.com. In the description below, we just released a new collection of Tuesday Ghost and, new, and just a new Tuesday line, just the word Tuesday, that will say to people, I think, and get the job done. And I have a perspective that can change minds and carry a lot of power. So if you guys want to share perspective, provide value, buy a t-shirt, connorsgraveyard.com. Anyway, second powerful reason, the second thing you guys have most have been looking for. I know we're only halfway through these powerful reasons, but there is going to be a secret powerful reason at the end of the video so if you're getting value out of this video make sure to type in the comments hey i'm getting value out of this video right now make sure to click that like button anyway their vocabulary i mean we all know it when you hear it right i mean they're using these words like powerful and stuff like that i mean some guys will, you know, cut it clean and dry. I, I mean, Gary V. I've talked about him before in this video. I'll admit, a little bit of a potty mouth. I'm not the first one to say it, but it is on brand with his mission. And most importantly, it resonates with his target audience. P powerful. ROI. Minimalism. Value. Message. Bitcoin. I mean, I mean, at least the way I see it, I mean, it's just, what do those words mean? They're, they're, they're empty. They don't make you think. They don't add perspective. They don't add value. They don't have a message because they don't have any of those things. They don't contain that power, that minimalism, that value, that message. Uh, because when these guys say it, it doesn't mean anything. They don't expound on those words and what they mean to people. It's just, you know buzzwords keywords that these people are using and it's like the black eyed peas said Let's give it and they're also you know sort of anti naughty words unless you know you're gary v or wall wool or the wolf of wall street jordan belfort you know they're saying fuck and they're doing coke and i mean they're having a great time they're they're stripped back again um but they're still saying the same thing which is important they're not providing that value and that perspective. And before we get into our third and final powerful way that I hate these self-help and marketing gurus, guys, secrets to the algorithm, my course with yours truly, Connor Moffitt. It is a 30-day step-by-step program to help you become who you were meant to be. And I mean, it's, it's a powerful, engaging, course that you're not going to become that success unless you're wearing connor's graveyard clothing uh, it's the the tuesday ghost we have trucker third powerful reason fake ass bullshit <laughs> this some fake ass bullshit let's be real okay do they actually believe anything that they're saying it, like what is going on they, these people pray 
on the week. And they also, for some reason, a lot of them are very religious. A lot of these mega church guys, I mean, we all know him, Joel Osteen, that old flood Texas thing happened, didn't open his, open his doors. They, and it is, and, and the, the territories under which the Canadian office uh, is. Shigamo. Tevre ma ombo brave judis to cinema hunt at K. In Gayo undu et Ganyandos dog sisik pukukla nam and breme nesto. Stelogla hamalana. Hamalama. <laughs> I mean, what are these guys saying? I, this, I mean, again, this is some fake ass bullshit. I mean, in, aside from these mega church guys, a lot of them have a very vapid and analytical perception of pop culture. Uh, I, I, you know, I just watched The Mandalorian, and after that, I, I read the Bible with my wife, which I love. Like, hey, buddy, there are more things out there, and they also have. Uh, they also are very religious, like I said before, and, you know, knowledge. I mean, that's the key. It doesn't matter what you read as long as you're getting knowledge out of what you're saying. And this is a quote from myself, guys, Connor Moffitt. This is very powerful, and if you're, again, if you're getting value out of this, make sure to like and subscribe down below. If you do coke... Welcome to 10 years in the invisibility cloak. Guys, no one's going to see you. This uh, is a collage of all of the people. They have no soul behind their eyes. Their smiles, uh, their grimaces, wipe that shitty ass grin off your face, homeboy. I mean, right? Guys, secrets to the algorithm with Connor Moffitt, my 30-day step-by-step program to help you become who you were meant to be. And from connorsgraveyard.com, clothing, the Tuesday ghost, or just the Tuesday varsity line, <laughs> you're going to look like a stud. You know, that morning bloat, that coffee, that... This... Um, anyway, uh, this is, I mean, this is the fucking end of the video. I don't know what that was. Uh, comment of the week this week is from Moist Bean. 1550. I thought Nebraska was Nevada. An album of the week, Un Canto por Mexico, Volume 2 by Natalia La Forcade. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, I don't like, I, I, it's been a year since I've been in Spanish. I'm sorry. I love, the, I love this sort of culture and music. But anyway, if you got value out of this video, make sure to subscribe down below. I'm sorry if this irritated you but it provided value so thank you guys for watching subscribe i love you goodbye